this video will be looking into the syntax directed definition topic so before moving on to sdd we need to understand what a uh, semantic analysis is so it is the third phase of compiler it accepts parse tree uh, as the input and adds semantic info to the parse tree and performs the required checks here the check uh, could be the type checking or the object binding and it also includes automatic type conversion uh, displaying the errors and all so the semantics of a language can be described very easily using two notations one is the syntax directed definition and the other one is syntax directed translation so now in this video we'll be looking into syntax directed definition so sdd is a context free grammar with attributes and semantic rules so it comprises of attributes and semantic rules so attributes are associated with the grammar symbols whereas semantic rules are associated with the productions so semantic rules are associated with productions and attributes are associated with grammar symbols so the semantic rules are used to compute attribute values so here let's consider a production e produces e1 plus t okay so this is the produ uh, production writing semantic rule for that would be e dot val is equal to e1 dot val plus t dot val here val represents the attributes so the attributes are associated with the grammar symbols so the value of e would be stored here so here we are adding the value of e1 and t and storing it in value of e so that's what this e dot val this this semantic rule refers or means so understanding what an attribute is so if a, if x is a grammar symbol and a is the attribute then x dot a can be denotes the value of attribute a at a particular node x so that's what it is value of e at a particular value of uh, that attribute at particular node e so that's what this uh, attribute x dot a defines so here attribute may hold almost anything it could be a string or a number or a memory location or a complex record so attribute for expressions so depending on the type of value it could be int float char string or boolean or etc type of construct so depending on the construct it could be variable constants or operations so this was about the attributes now we'll look into the semantic rules so the rules that describe how to compute the attribute values of attributes associated with a grammar symbol using attribute values of other uh, grammar symbols is called semantic rules so writing the previous example again the production e e produces e1 plus t so e dot val is equal to e1 dot val plus t dot val so values of these two uh, attribute uh, these two grammar symbols are being added to this right so val here are the attribute symbols so based on how the attribute values are obtained we can classify them as two types that is uh, either as synthesized attribute or inherited attribute so by the definition we can understand the attribute value of a non terminal a is a derived from attribute values of its children or itself so the attribute values of non terminal which are derived from its children or itself then it is said to be synthesized attribute the attribute values of synthesized attributes are passed from children to parent so it's from children to parent usually it's from parent to children right so here we uh, we make use of bottom up manner from bottom it's going up say right so bottom up manner so consider a production here e derive c plus t e1 plus t and the semantic rule we have written here so if we write the parse tree for this so in order to get the parent this one in order to get the value of parent attribute we need to add the values of e1 and t right these are the children's so children right so when we add these two suppose e dot val is 30 here in that case e1 dot val should be 10 or 20 or here 20 or 10 any one right so uh, the value here is being defined from its attributes from its children attributes so that's what synthesized attribute refers to inherited attribute tells that uh, the values are the attribute values are derived from its siblings or from its parents so from its siblings or from its parents in this case it is top down manner 
attribute values are passed from siblings or parents to the children so if you consider a derives a produces b c d so if i write here a is the parent node and b c d are the children nodes so if i write c dot i is equal to a dot i so i here are the attribute values so the attributes of the parent node here the attribute values of a are being stored in c c here is a children node so from parent node to children node yes and in this case i have from b b is a sibling node from sibling node to the to to this particular node c sibling so here also d is a sibling the the attribute values are stored in d in c so this is how it is so this was the example of inherited attribute and this uh, is the example of synthesized attributes we'll further look into the types of uh, sdds so first we have uh, s attributed sdd so a uh, uh, s attributed sdd a uh, s attributed sdd that uses only synthesized attributes is called s attributed sdd whereas in l attributed sdd we make use of both synthesized and inherited attributes so if you consider this example a produces b c d e so uh, b a here is the parent node b c d e are the children nodes so the values of children nodes uh, are being stored in the attributes of parent node so that's what synthesis attributes uh, def uh, defines right so here value uh, the attributes value of b are stored in a so b is child node c is also child node d is also child node e is also child node so here this is the condition of synthesized attributes s s attributed sdd so here semantic actions are always placed at right end of production so after the production the semantic actions are stored here so it is also known as postfix sdd coming to this part so uh, l attributed sdd so each in inherited attribute is restricted to inherits only from parent or left sibling only so if you look at this example a a produces b x y z so here y here a is the parent node and b x y z are the child nodes so if i write um, y dot s is equal to a dot s the value the attribute values of a are being stored in y so this is acceptable then coming to this x dot s so the attribute values of x are being uh, stored by x are being stored in y so left side whatever is there in the left side it is valid if it's on the right side then you need not consider it only left sibling values or parent values should be considered here a is parent here x is the left sibling and here b is the left sibling but if you look at this z is not the left sibling so you can't consider this so this was about uh, this is the example so here the semantic actions are placed anywhere on rhs whereas here it had to be placed on the right end of production so here attributes are evaluated based on the bottom up parsing yes we know this and here the attributes are evaluated by uh, traversing depth first and then left to right order then attributes dependency limited to children node here uh, these are the attributes on this side on lhs should be dependent on the rhs right so that's what is the condition of synthesized attribute but here it could be dependent on parent and sibling node also here is attributed sdd uh, one example of that could be arithmetic expressions and its evaluation and example for l attributed sdd is type checking in expressions so i hope you have understood the you have understood what syntax related definition its types and the types of attributes are if you have any doubts do let me know in the comments and subscribe to my channel thank you